To be really candid, it's, it's very difficult for people coming from really urban Baltimore to kind of see themselves going on a trajectory like this. You really have to have enough kind of foresight to think you honestly will be around long enough to be a doctor. Um, it, it's really a long road. It's very expensive. Uh, my education costs alone at, at well into the hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that's a very monumental kind of task to undertake for anyone, even if you do come from means or, like myself, not very many means. Uh, I think the big thing that really made a difference was just at an early, really young age, I had my mother and my aunt, and they really kind of stressed the importance of education. They really put themselves in, and, you know, they say it takes a whole village. It really was a couple of villages for me. I mean, it was friends, it was families, it was friends' parents. Just everyone kind of invested a little bit of time, energy, even financially invested in me to get to this point. And, I think when so many people are putting so much into you, it, it, it's natural for you to internalize the message that you are important, that you're valued. And when you feel that you're important and you're valued and that what you do matters, you really take ownership over your actions in a way that allows you to do something like medicine or you know, whatever, whatever field it is you want to do. You can, you can see yourself going forward and taking those steps.
Brought my wife. The kids are. Okay. Kids got to go to school. So how old, how old are the kids? Yeah. Kids are 11 and 5. Yeah. So uh, first of all, David, uh, first to tell us your name and where you're from. I'm David Hurwitz. Uh, I'm originally from New York. Uh, I've been in Baltimore since 2011. Okay. So you just mentioned you had kids 11 and 5. That's right. So you're older than some of these students here, and, and apparently had. Uh, Life before medicine. Tell us about that. Sure. So my girls are 11 and 5, fifth grade and kindergarten. And yeah, I'm probably the old man of my class. Uh, prior, to, prior to coming to medical school, I had a business career. I had an MBA and worked for about a decade in the biotech industry and then moved down to Baltimore in 2011 to work for Medicare. Uh, when they passed the Affordable Care Act, I worked for one of the new divisions that was created by the act. Um, and then in 2014, when I was working with uh, a lot of primary care physicians in that role, I, I realized that my lifelong dream was something I needed to follow up on. So I did a post back at Goucher and, uh, and then was really excited to stay in Maryland and come here to University of Maryland. You, you kind of have a unique background. That you, are you hoping to use that background in your medical career? I absolutely hope to use my background in my medical career. Um, of course, I want to be a clinician first and foremost, uh, but I know that being a clinician it also involves the, the daily challenges of administrative tasks, uh, dealing with uh, new policies and changes to the way systems are running. So I hope I can uh, not only work well within those systems, but also be part of uh, changing those systems and maybe one day combining clinical and administrative roles uh, in, my, in my career. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Well, tell us about just your thoughts and feelings today as you get ready to, to do the match. Oh, uh, this has been a long journey, obviously. I started, I started this journey in my mid-30s, uh, and here I am now in my early 40s, ready to match and graduate soon. So this is an incredibly exciting day for me, for my family. Uh, my daughters woke up this morning and gave me big hugs. Um, but I'm just excited to, uh, to be part of this process. Uh, I'm looking forward to staying in Baltimore, since I really just applied to programs in Baltimore. I'm a committed, committed Baltimorean at this point. Um, and I'm excited for my classmates. I know that this is, uh, for many people, this is the big day of their lives. Um, and you can see the smiles all around. So it's really exciting to see all, uh, everybody here culminating this experience. Is there anything you'd like to add or say about Oh, uh, I just want to say thank you to all the mentors that we've had along the way. Um, I've had incredible mentors, uh, particularly in the field of primary care where I intend to go into. Um, but the residents, the faculty, everyone has just always been focused uh, not only on giving good patient care, but also in teaching the students. Uh, and I'm incredibly appreciative of that. And as well as the, the staff in the Office of Student Affairs, uh, just incredibly encouraging and supportive and wonderful advice throughout. So I've had a great experience. Awesome. Thanks. It's really nice to meet you. Okay. Get that Hopefully. microphone from you. Yep.